What is up you guys? It is Lid and I am back with another video. Surprise, it's been a minute. So, I posted a video a while back about me running to train for a 5k race and this is the update on that video. I won first place. <laughs> I won, I won, I won, I won. All that training paid off. Thank you guys so much for telling me in the comments that I needed to just run for a longer distance at a lower speed. I think that really came in clutch like towards the end of that race because that last half mile, I blacked out. Like I don't even hardly remember it. I just remember it being the absolute hardest part. So here's what happened. I got in line in the starting line. I started scoping out the competition. I, I had no idea honestly what to expect because I've never run in a 5k before. All I knew is that I wanted to win. That was the whole thing was I want to win, I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. I put in my earbuds and I just get in my zone and I'm not looking at anybody, I'm not paying attention to anybody. I get in the top right hand corner and I just chill there and so I was like, I was just, I was, it was weird because it wasn't like I was freaking out. I just got so in the zone. I've never been in the zone that hard in my life. I knew that if I was like, going to win this thing, like I was going to have to go flat out. I, in my head, I was saying, okay, you're going to pace yourself when they blow the horn or whatever. You're going to run an average pace and you're just going to run this thing. My heart and my legs said otherwise. So as soon as they rang the buzzer, I just shot off like a rocket. Like there was nothing standing in my way. Let's be completely clear here. They were not scoring the guys and girls together and I thought they were. It was guys and girls and then the age division. So my time was 25 minutes. My best time is like 24 minutes and some change. So I crossed the finish line and my mom was, she took a little bit of video and took some pictures. Hey, All right. hey Lydia. There was just a lot going on though, so it was, you know, difficult to keep track of everything. So I came over to this building, I went in and I got some food, and then I went back out. And then I'm trying to eat this cheeseburger, and I was like, this is too heavy, I can't handle this on my stomach right now. So I go back over there, because that's where the watermelon was. So I'm getting the watermelon out of this cooler, and I see over to the side that there's this big white curtain thing, and there's a podium with like the first, second, and third, and people are getting up there and getting medals. And I was like, oh my gosh, why did they not announce this on like the loudspeaker or something that they're doing the awards? I didn't know there was an award. I thought it was just you just run, because it's a freaking fundraiser. I didn't know there was anything like this. Anyway, I thought the goodie bag was what you got, and that was it. So I go up to this couple, and the lady immediately looks at me, and she's like, they've already called your division. They're in like the 60-year-olds. And I was like, shoot. So I stood there and I was just going to go up later and say, what was my division, you know, where did I place? Because I knew that there were only guys ahead of me, but again, I thought we were being graded with the guys. I was just hoping, alright? I was holding out hope. They said, now we're going to do first overalls. And they said, we're going to do ladies first. And I was like, oh, we're not even being scored together. And they said, first place. Me, and I said Lydia, and my last name. So I was like, oh my gosh, so I just went, and I got up on the podium, and then they called the other two women, but they didn't show up, because they didn't make an announcement on the loudspeaker. Everyone else is over there waiting for fireworks, and eating food, and going to, you know, just, uh, I don't understand it, it didn't make any sense. So I had my first place medal, I was so ecstatic. I jumped off the podium, I run to my mom, and I was like, mom, I won first place. And everyone was so happy for me, and everyone was there supporting me, and it was a really, really great experience. And that is my story of how I trained my butt off, I changed my whole lifestyle, I changed my life goals, everything was centered around just running and making sure I'm in prime shape so I could just freaking win this thing and then I went and I did it. I proved to myself, I proved to my family, I proved to everybody that I can train hard enough and freaking win something. I won! So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for letting me gloat and be a little bit of a narcissist about the whole experience but hey I worked for this and I'm so happy. Now I can move on with my life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!